Because it does say the bus driver is hot, so yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah, probably yeah. knew that dude was gonna pass out though, bro. Because they don't have AC in the bus. He's all like, "Come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on!" This is my chance. This is my moment. <laughs> We've got a heroic tale about a seventh grade kid who happened to be on a school bus when the bus driver just passed out and started. Oh, oh I saw that. It was like a really hot. He had a heart attack. Was it a heart attack? Or something like that. It just that. said he passed out because it was like really hot and stuff like that. Maybe there's a development. Wait, the, really? the bus driver was sexy? I just made that up. <laughs> What are you talking about? He said the bus driver was really hot. Yeah. He was, he was, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I read that too, actually. Yeah, smoking hot. That's what I meant. Here's the video. So he, he saw himself stroke. in the mirror. He's like, God damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he fainted from his own side. <laughs> oh, wait. This is a different sense. one. Oh, shit. All right, the thing that oh, makes I saw a different uh, one. The, the one with the black dude, right? Yeah. Why don't you guys pull that up and we can change the video? <laughs> it's probably the same thing. It's the same story. But what that one comes up. We're trying to dodge black excellence, bro. Yeah, what's going on, huh? But that one is four months ago. This one's recent. I think. Yeah, it's more recent. Of course, it would be a white man that we're yeah. talking about. <laughs> so the thing that made this interesting is in the um, post-game interview uh, uh, of everything that went on, it was that all the kids were like on their AirPods, on their phones, playing games, right. on social media and stuff like yeah, that. So yeah. nobody was really paying attention. Normal kid shit. One kid who wasn't on his phone. Probably a weirdo too, huh? Probably. Probably reads books. The fucking nerdy <laughs> Eagle Scout, I bet. Nah, he's, 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 he's saving lives really and he's shit. Right. Right. It's Brian, bro. The sad thing yeah. is his parents can't afford AirPods. Oh shit. Oh. So he starts spazzing out here. Oh my god. Oh, he had a seat. That's right when he saw himself. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, that's not good. Oh no. And the bus is moving? Oh yeah. my god. Bro, we gotta get these bus drivers healthy. Oh shit. Wait, that's a kid? That feels like a teacher. <laughs> teacher. Someone call 911. Wow, that's almost an Eagle gangster. Scout, man. Someone call 911. It's probably a hall monitor, huh? <laughs> You said I don't care. See how they say it three times? That means yeah. no one likes that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That fool's a fucking e Yeah. Put that guy in the, the kid's next Fast and Furious movie. That kid's a winner, dude. <laughs> Bravo to his parents. Not boo his parents. No, you know what? <laughs> Screw you. Man, fuck his parents, dude. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> his parents are soft. You know what? His parents his never parents appreciated him anyway. <laughs> Get him well. some real parents. Is this the one, though, where his parents said, like, he's been driving since he was, like, four or five? Arrest him. Oh. There, there was one of these things where, like, Arrest like, his oh, parents for teaching him too early. Driving, like, on the open fields. Oh, like, yeah. Before. I don't know oh, if this, this is the one. I, I've heard about that. That's, like, a thing, right? If you live on a farm, yeah. you get, like, yeah. a, a permit that lets you drive for tasks. Mm. You hear about that? Oh, yeah. I didn't know about that. Private that. property. Now, what? I thought you just I thought you just did it. Yeah. Uh, but I think yeah, if, yeah, if yeah, it's yeah. private property, I think you can Yeah, private property, but you can even go on the road if you if you have a farm. Oh, okay. You can even go to like get stuff. I let Tyka drive. Shut the fuck up. All right, we got him. Move in, move in, move in. <laughs> but you mean like, you mean just like hold the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, like behind behind my house is a bunch of just fucking desert. <laughs> so I, so I was like, we're, we're gonna take we're gonna take the dogs to fucking run around, and then I was like, hey, you want to drive? And guess what he said? The truck? Yeah, he said yes. No way, he said yes. Yeah, no I, I didn't believe it. <laughs> so no fucking way. What an amazing child. <laughs> yeah, and then he was driving. He reached the gas pedal? No, I had to press the gas pedal. But I let him turn. He's not trying. Yeah. Speaking of the truck, are you in, you know the electric one? He's not trying. Yeah, it comes out. 450 miles on one charge. See. But it's never gonna come out. This thing. <laughs> it's gonna come out this year. So they tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I trust that woman CEO at GM. Wow. Who is she? I thought it was about the Cybertruck. No, no, no. The Silverado. Oh no! I want the Cybertruck. I put oh. my pre-order in. Like. Oh, wow. that one. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to derail this, but they, anyhow. Yeah. This back said, to the um, white kid that saved the day. The boy's yeah. stepmother uh, basically told reporters that her son knew how to stop the bus because he had watched the driver do it every day. I guess. So I guess what a really weirdo, dude! <laughs> I'm just I guess he was just paying attention, but it is dope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just it is dope when you watch the murder the bus driver. There's no hesitation. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He he just goes straight in, puts his foot on the stop. You know, He's yeah, calm like, too. Yeah. yeah. It was a Freaking it's almost right like on. he knew this would happen. Yeah. <laughs> you spiked the bus driver. Of this child. <laughs> but you know the thing is though, is I, you know, because the mom said, the stepmom said that he he had watched the bus driver do it before, this, and then he jumped into action, which means he was watching the bus driver the entire time. Yeah. That is a little. Because it does say the bus driver is hot, so yeah. yeah that yeah. is true. Smoking, even smoking. smoking. Yeah. <laughs> Air quotes. He probably knew that dude was gonna pass out though, bro. Because they don't have AC in the bus. He's all like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on. This is my chance, this is my moment. Because anytime you go to a bus, right? The poor bus driver got this tiny little ass fan. I know. So cool. Who is that gonna help? Yeah. Nobody. 
Especially when they have to a bunch of these kids just yeah. being drunk. Do you think that every chick on that bus owes him a blowjob? <laughs> what a segue. No, because that guy saved the lives of everyone. <laughs> At seventh grade, you're what, 12 years old? Yeah, they're all kids. Well, you could cash it in later. <laughs> yeah. Dude, but hey, but you know what, though? Yeah, it doesn't With expire. It's range, you know? You know what, though? I think, I think in this day and age, that may happen in junior high. I think in ninth grade? Sure. Dude, kids are sucking each other off for sure. Oh my god. But I honestly, I don't believe this kid was like a, was very popular in his class. Yeah, it didn't look like it. Because he's sitting in the front of the bus. He's got to be popular everyone now. Knows, well, but as everyone knows, only the cool kids sit in the back. Those friends aren't going to last either, too. That kid was in the front, probably, and he's watching the bus driver. He had no AirPods, he had no gaming unit. He's just sitting there, all he has to do is watch the bus driver. Yo, if that, if that kid was in the back, and he just rocketed yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he deserves what Bart's prize. Eagle eyes, man. <laughs> do, do you guys remember any defining, because I'm, I'm assuming this guy goes to school for the next like two years and he's like a G. Like, I don't think that yeah. that's gonna be, you know what I mean? Did you guys ever re recall a moment, junior high or high school, where maybe you did something and your social status changed? Besides, know, you, you had mentioned, yeah, you had mentioned like <laughs> fucking whooping some dude's ass and then that changed everything. Oh, that's interesting. No, like losing to a blind guy in wrestling, yeah. No, Imagine. well, you were talking about the other, the other story the other day where you like had to just suddenly get into a fight, you beat that dude up, and suddenly it's like, all right, Bart's the guy who, because you like transferred to a high school or something like that. Yeah, that's boring though. Okay. <laughs> and no, but that's I, a driving. No, but he, <laughs> But if you remember back in like junior high and high school, if there was a kid that wasn't that popular, and then like one day they did something really cool, that would I think they would only last like a day or two. Yeah, I don't I think that shit lasts. I don't long. even think that really works. No. I think when like dorks do cool shit, you just find a reason to keep calling them a dork. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really make it like you know in the movies where like dorks become cool. That shit does. I've never seen. Because I feel like kids are haters, bro. I've seen cool kids get way cooler, and like dorky kids just stay dorky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really like. Have you, have you had one where something happened and it's like it added to your legacy the rest of your year? Um, I was gonna share, but now that you know Ryan said dorky people just stay dorky, <laughs> I'm like really hesitant now. Anthony, <laughs> no, you sure. call yourself dorky. You were never like, dorky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to punch you in the face like, if you call yourself dorky. The first time Don't you look danced. that way. You <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> been trying to have sex with you for a long huh? time. Stop that. Stop Dude, that. The first time you danced. Uh, I will say that that was actually a big change because I was. You, you know how I always talk about like I was, I was a fucking loser in high school, right? No one believes it. No one believes it. <laughs> I don't even remember you in high school. I guarantee you guys see photos. You got. Like, I believe this. All right. Yeah, in photos maybe. But so did everyone else look like that. In high Point school. is, there was. It wasn't until my senior year actually that we had like a kind of like an Air Bands lip sync competition. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know where like uh, different clubs have to like compete for like more points by the end of the year. There's a giant event. Yeah. It's a lip sync for us. You guys had a like, cool ass high school, bro. We didn't do that shit. And then uh, I remember that was, cool. that was like my <laughs> first time doing something public. You know what I mean? Everything that you do, a lot of times oh, in like high school yeah, or whatever, you're yeah, either yeah, like stay low key. You, yeah, you're just in your class, yeah, in your group yeah. of friends, whatever it might be. Your click, your clubs. Yeah. But getting on stage, that was my first time getting on stage and doing like a dance performance for our lip sync uh, with my club, the America Red Cross. So what song did before? you do? Usher Yen, Billie Jean, my Oh, class. that's wow. Oh, like a whole medley? Yeah, Mash we did like a Holy medley. Shit. Usher, that's yeah. Cool. Ooh, that's a timeless one you picked. <laughs> you know, it was a fun. Now that I think about it, I had an opposite thing. So, <laughs> of course you did. No, no, so I went to Cerritos High School and I played, I was in drumline and I played drums in like a jazz band or whatever. And then I remember coming here and Mark Keppel's band sucked fucking ass. Yeah. So I remember going like, I don't even want to be a part of this shit. Yeah. So I didn't play drums at all. But then I remember senior year, I was like, fuck, I haven't played drums in a long time. I do miss it. So I signed up for the talent show. And then I remember for the talent show, my drum solos are the stupidest thing in the world. <laughs> so I remember going there, just fucking going ham. And then afterwards, <sighs> and, I was, and, I, and I had like an out of body experience. I'm like, that was the fucking wackest shit. Cause like, it's like, there's no beat. No one's grooving to you. It's just like kids like in the audience like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was like, that, if I could rewind a moment in my life, I would have rewound and not have done that. <laughs> hey, dude, I think drum solos are pretty cool, man. Hey, what, what, did, what did like people say to you afterwards? No, no, I don't even, it, it, might, have been, it, might, have been, it might have been so neutral. Cool drumsticks, dude. This kid just makes a lot of noise. <laughs> drumsticks, dude. Everyone's just like this. I think it was neat, I think it was neat to me. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? Like, I think everyone else might have just been like, oh, okay, Bart went after the hula hoop guy and then whenever. So, like, I think it's just oh, neutral. I got you. Okay, yeah. But yeah. for me, me uh, watching me, yeah. part, going like, hula hoop guy. <laughs> did they, did, did, did like, all we should beat that guy. Did yeah. everyone call you Nick Canton? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so stupid. Stupid. Yeah, I was like, those are like five, ten minutes I'll never get back in my life. <laughs> you guys of the crowd like, wrap it up! <laughs> <laughs> like a five minute solo? Jeez. That's the hula hoop guy. Beginning to end too. <laughs> I, I wish there was time travel, then we could all go back and go, all right, Nick Cannon. No one would get That's it. Your favorite guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he has fathering, what, 12 children from 11 different women? Dude, if you had another guy playing drums, and you guys are both battling out, and then you went on his drum set, and then played on his drum. And then dropped the sticks. Oh, that'd be an awesome movie. I mean, did you just double that down and do it again? Coming of age <laughs> no one recorded this. So did you double down and just do it again for the next year? Pull it's like, oh man, here's the drum guy again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>